This is CryptoTube, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to provide you with a tutorial on how to set up your first masternode in an easy and cheap fashion. If this is your first time to the channel, then consider subscribing to the channel for future updates. And if you wanna see any further tutorials, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to oblige. So in today's video, we're gonna set up a masternode on iHost MN. You're going to need two things to follow along. First off being an account with some funds on it. So go to the comment section. The first pinned comment will be a link to iHost MN. Sign yourself up and then once you're signed up, scroll down to fund account and you can fund your account via PayPal or with cryptocurrency. Very easy to do. And then you will have a balance and we can proceed. The second thing that you need is the most up-to-date wallet for the coin you're going to be running so i'm going to be running a feed coin masternode here i've got the wallet set up and my collateral ready to go i've previously done a video on how to manage and set up your own crypto wallet i'll leave a card just above and a link in the description down below for you to check that out and that will get you to this step that we are at right now so we're going to locate the feed coin wallet on iHost MN. It is here and you see the collateral 400,000 are required. So make sure you've got those in your wallet. We're going to click on that and that's going to take us through to the setup page. Now you're going to see the daily earnings and you're also going to see the price per month. So to actually run this node on iHost MN and use their server, it just costs 89 cents and that is in euros per month so it's a very inexpensive way of doing it and a lot cheaper than using other methodologies on their website they have a list of instructions that are really simple to follow along with if you don't want to use my video guide you can just skip ahead and use the instructions here the first pieces of information we need to fill out are first the masternode name and this name is going to be on your wallet as well so we want to create a new name and then copy it so i'm going to call this one feed masternode 2 and I'm going to just take a quick control and C and copy that. We're then going to go over to the feed QT wallet. So here we go to file, receiving addresses and new. We can then paste our label across feed MN2 and click OK. It's then going to give us our address to copy across. So we're going to click copy now. Now we navigate over to the send tab. So we're going to close this box down, go on to send and pay to control and V that address. And as you see, the label will pre populate and then the collateral required, which is 400,000. Just check that the number is correct. And then you want to send that across. And we're just sending this transaction to ourself as a proof. Click confirm. And in the bottom right hand corner, there is a little transaction payment notification. So now we've sent our 400,000 coins, the full masternode collateral to ourself. We now must wait for 15 confirmations to check that go to transactions and then we can see our payment to ourself hover over this and there have been two con uh, confirmations thus far we need to wait for 15 so i will pause the video and pick it back up once those have confirmed so now we have at least 15 confirmations we've got 16 we'll pop back onto ihost mn and we need to fill out the transaction id here and the transaction index so on the wallet tools and debug console and in the debug console this is the command line here we're going to type in masternode space outputs just check that you've correctly typed that in and hit enter then this first bit of code here copy that and that is our transaction id paste it in and then the second piece, just this symbol here. And we go back to the index and paste that in. And now we can hit the buy button. 
and then we've got masternode has been successfully created so we'll click ok but the work is not done right now down here you can see please wait creating wallet on server currently zero percent done this status will change over the next minute or so so the status has changed a couple of times it's now saying wallet has been installed getting info we're going to click into the master node which will populate a new tab like so and it says enter this text into your local wallets masternode.conf file so the masternode configuration file we need to pop this information in click copy masternode text to clipboard and that's taken a copy for us so on the wallet we'll close down this window we're going to go to tools once more but this time open masternode configuration file and it's going to open it for us we need to start a new line of text and we're going to paste that information in we're then going to go and click close and it's going to prompt us to save we want to actually save that there and then just go back to dashboard what we now need to do is actually close down the wallet and then reopen it so we're going to go over to the red x and close this down now so now we have reopened the wallet it has fully synchronized and i have also unlocked the wallet and the key difference now you can see the collateral the 400,000 coins are now locked the next step we need to scroll down a little bit and we can see our commands here so we need to copy these one by one so we copy that take it over to my wallet again tools debug console and just paste it in and hit enter then we need to go back grab the second command copy that and same again just paste it in and hit enter and then you can see the result is successful so that has successfully started our node so i'll close this tab down and we go over to master nodes um, you can see our node is here status went from missing to enabled um, we need to click on start elias and we click yes successfully started the master node and we just click ok then we just go back over to the ihost mn website so on the ihost mn website go back to our first original tab hosted masternodes portfolio you can see our feed coin is there one masternode hosted and down here masternode successfully started so congratulations if you followed along this far you have set up your first masternode successfully so now you can just wait for your rewards to roll in you can close down your wallets and anytime you want to come and check your rewards just open it back up once it synchronizes with the network you can see your masternode rewards go to transactions and you can see the transactions as and when they rolled in but you do not need to keep your wallet open anymore the masternode will run on the ihost mn server so that's all for today's video i hope you found this helpful if you did please leave me a comment down below and any other suggestions for future tutorials you'd like me to go through thank you for watching and goodbye